Some veterans in Cecil County have found a new sense of self-esteem and confidence playing sports. It's a part of their training for a national competition called the Golden Age Games. WMAR 2 News, Asher McDowell shows us in tonight's RBC Wealth Management Voice for Veterans report how these former military members have become a family. Designed to promote an active and healthy lifestyle, veterans at the Perry Point VA are prepping for the Golden Age Games. Every Tuesday morning, Army veteran Lenny McNair drives from Owings Mills to the Perry Point VA Medical Center in Cecil County. It's time to train for the Golden Age Games. Well, I'll tell you what, it basically keeps me alive. The national competition is for veterans 55 and older, training to compete against other VAs across the country. Each year is at a different location. McNair got involved in 2013 during a hard point in his life. When I first started this, you know, I just, uh, I was so depressed and um, I was recovering from numerous surgeries and um, I just happened to be in physical therapy and I saw these pictures on the wall of uh, therapy and I asked the therapist, I mean, I said, what, what are these pictures about? Reluctant at first, it was a start to his journey of what would be an annual goal to compete in the national games. Now at 76, it gives him hope. It's been nothing but challenges and just good things since then. You know, I mean, it's ups and downs, but I mean, I've won a lot of medals. During his Tuesday morning training, he pairs with Robbie Wyatt, who is also preparing to compete. If it goes outside of the blue, we put the gym. Wyatt was an officer and enlisted in the Army. She served 15 years. In 1997, I had a horrific um, incident in the hospital where um, that's what ended my um, service. She was told she may never walk again, but she wasn't taking that as an answer. With support from her family and physical therapy, now she's competing in the Golden Age Games. A lot of confidence has come back. You know, it wasn't gone, it was just sitting on the closet shelf. For me, seeing the changes in my health, um, both physically and mentally, also the people that I've met, um, you know, that I did not know before, we just gained a close bond. The adaptive sports program at the VA is what got both of these veterans to where they are today. Training is all year. Coordinator Lauren Buckingham transforms the workouts to each veteran's level. The beginning part of the year, I really focus on strength and conditioning versus fine tuning their skills in whatever events they're gonna be competing in. She says giving them a community to be part of brings a newfound purpose. A lot of times, they lose that sense of purpose and now they've refound this purpose or a new love in something that gives them a reason to get out of bed. The competition in August is in Salt Lake City. 14 veterans from Maryland will be competing. In Cecil County, Ashley McDowell, WMAR 2 News.